What's up guys, Laura Alvarado here and in today's speed training, I'm gonna show you how to craft the perfect offer that attracts long-term clients who stick around and refer like crazy. So if you're someone who's saying, Laura, I've got a lot of bad leads, junk leads, unqualified leads, stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this training. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you're doing wrong and of course, how to fix it. All right, so I asked this question earlier uh, this week in the group. True or false, free offers attract bad leads. I'd be curious to know. Down below in the comments, what do you think? True or false? Now, I would argue the answer is false. And I would even go so far as to say that high-priced offers, I'm talking about on the front end, high-priced front end offers actually attract bad leads. Now, you might be saying, Lord, you are crazy. What are you talking about? Give me just a second and I will explain. All right, so if when you have a high front end investment, you have very high expectations. So it's kind of like the Four Seasons versus the Hilton Garden Hotel. So when you go to the Four Seasons, you expect everything to be impeccable, luxurious, everything needs to be perfection, right? Now, when you go to the Hilton Garden Hotel, we're not talking about Motel 6 here. So you have an expectation that it's gonna be clean, you're gonna be well taken care of, it's gonna be quiet, right? But you would let a few things slide here and there because we're it's not the four seasons here, right? I even noticed this myself. I have two short-term rentals, one is 97 a night and one is 350 400 a night and the types of clientele that i track are very very different and their expectations are very different get far more complaints about the teeniest tiniest smallest thing at the 400 a night property right so when you have a low front end investment you have very low expectations especially when something's free or very low cost under fifty dollars right you're not expecting that much because you didn't pay that much now i know what you might be saying well laura i don't want to have a low standard i want my business to be rocking imagine if you got a four seasons hotel experience at a hilton garden hotel like you would be blown out of the water. I only paid for a Hilton Garden, but I got a Four Seasons. Like you'd be blown away by this business. It would make it impossible not to return there as a repeat customer. Okay, so high priced offers attract program only clientele. So what I mean is people who are saying, hey, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna do this front end thing, and then I'm gonna leave. Not necessarily, hey, I'm thinking about a long-term gym solution. The right low ticket offer actually will attract long-term clients. Now the key is the word right, and I'm gonna go into more detail on that in just a second. So I have a couple different case studies. One is the free six week challenge, which is actually a high ticket front end offer because someone ends up paying $500 to do it. This attracts what I call challengers, right? Somebody thinks, hey, you are gonna solve my problem. You're gonna help me lose 20, 30 pounds over the next 16 weeks, which is most, if not all, of the weight that I have to lose. And I'm gonna give you all of the money that I have to invest in this problem, which is $500, right? They're not thinking, hey, I'm gonna do this six-week challenge and then continue. They're thinking, hey, I'm gonna give you $500, I'm gonna lose this weight, and then I'm gonna get my deposit back, or I'm gonna piece out of here, right? So this offer, while it can get you a lot of front end cash, which is great, isn't really attracting people who are looking for a long term solution, right? So it's attracting the wrong type of leads, even though it is generating money on the front end. Okay, now here is another wrong offer case study, 30 days for $30. So this is a low priced offer, but this is not the right type of low priced offer. So the offer is almost too good. The length of time is too long. So someone's saying, wow, 30 days for $30, I'm gonna go to this place for a month and then I'll go on to the next place. Now, when you have something that's shorter term, like a week for free or five days for $5, right? I don't know about you, but I don't wanna go to a new facility every five days or every single week. So using a low priced offer doesn't always work to attract the right type of clients if it is the wrong low 
priced offer, right? So we definitely don't want to attract challengers only, and we definitely don't want to attract deal hoppers, right? So one of the complaints that I hear is, okay, Laura, I hear what you're saying, but any time that I have run a free offer, I get a whole bunch of leads who didn't respond. Like I'm paying for leads that didn't respond. And what I would challenge you here is, are you sending the right follow-up? Now, there are two main problems that I see within follow-up. Number one is too much automation. Automation can be great. It can save you a lot of time, but too much automation actually conditions your prospects to view your phone number as spam. So think about it. There are so many businesses that are using automation. My dentist, my hairdresser, my chiropractor, right? And when I get one of those automated messages confirming my appointment, I often just clear it out. I don't respond to it or I even might reply stop, right? Even the other day, my vet texted me to confirm an appointment. I saw the message but quickly forgot about it and ended up missing the appointment because I didn't view it as being important. So the way to fix this is to approach your automation as if you are texting a friend. Think about it. When a friend texts you, you usually always respond. Even if you can't get to it now, you respond later. So you're gonna elicit a much higher response rate, but you're also gonna elicit a much higher show rate because it feels like a real person and it you will prioritize it and it will be of greater importance to you as the prospect. So just changing the way that you're wording your messages from something like, hey, thanks for opting in for your free pass, schedule your first workout here, very much an automation versus, hey, when can you meet me for a workout tomorrow or what time would you like to work out tomorrow? So reframe your automated messages to make them sound like they're from a friend. And then after you use automation to send that initial message, you actually wanna have a real person take over so that you can respond in a real authentic way. This is gonna produce a far bigger response rate, a far bigger show rate, a far bigger close rate, even from free leads. So I like to suggest automated with people and not with software. And what I mean by that is is dialing in your script, having a clear, repeatable, documented process that a person, a virtual assistant, an appointment setter can follow for you. And that's how you automate with people instead of software. And so when you do that, and you fix your follow-up with the right follow-up, free leads will respond and will buy. So now that you see that you need to fix your follow-up, you say, okay, well, what are the ingredients of the right front-end offer that is gonna attract these dream long-term clients who stick around and refer? So first thing you wanna think about is the length. So I recommend less than 28 days or longer than 12 weeks. So we definitely don't wanna attract those deal hoppers, which is why I recommend something 21 days or less, and longer, a little bit more expensive front end programs can work if they're longer than 12 weeks because by 12 weeks they're indoctrinated into your community they're raving fans and they're going to be much more likely to stick around than somebody who comes for four or six weeks so 21 days or less 12 weeks or longer Step number two is to think about the results so it's really helpful especially for these shorter term front end often offers that the results are understood but not actualized. So I know that I'm probably not going to get to where I need to be in 14 days, in five days. So within that length of time, you should show them that you understand their problems, you're the answer to their problems, they understand your clear pathway for getting there. So they know you can get them results, but they also understand that the results are going to take longer than that front end program. So you show them that you can get them the results and they have a clear path for getting there and that's their incentive to join afterwards. So the results are understood but not actualized versus a four or six week challenge where it is quite possible that I could achieve all if not most of the results that I'm looking for. Okay, ingredient number three is that four seasons experience. You're gonna roll out the red carpet. One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make with free offers or low priced offers is they treat their prospects like they only paid $5 or $10 or whatever it is. So if you start treating your prospects like they paid 10 times what they did, they're gonna say, wow, 
I can't believe I got all of that and I only paid $10. If that's how great $10 is, imagine what I'm going to get when I join as a member. So if someone's paying $10, you need to treat them like they paid $100. If someone paid $100, you need to treat them like they paid $1,000. And you really need to give them that Four Seasons experience. And that is what is going to convince them to stay. So not treating them like they paid $10 but really treating them like they paid for that Four Seasons experience. The next ingredient is to have a revolving front end offer. And what I mean by that is choosing one front end offer and sticking to it. So it's kind of like when you walk into a Starbucks, right? All the Starbucks have the same look, the same feel, they smell the same. You're gonna get a consistent product, it's gonna taste the same, and it's gonna happen relatively quickly. And that's because the Starbucks has their model ironed out and it doesn't change very much. So sure, they have some seasonal drinks like a pumpkin spice or gingerbread or whatever, but for the most part, everything is consistent. So this allows them to scale quickly. It allows all of their team members to understand what they're selling. They know how to make the drinks, they know how to do it consistently, effectively, and it creates a great customer experience. So imagine if all of a sudden one day all of the employees walked into Starbucks and they're like, great, we're selling bagels today. Like it would be mayhem. They wouldn't know how to do it. They would make mistakes. The customers would have to wait longer. People would get pissed. So when you constantly change up your front end offer, you are decreasing your prospect experience. You are stressing out your team. You're creating more work for yourself because you have to learn how to sell the offer. You have to learn how to fulfill it. You have to train your team on it, right? So instead of constantly changing up your front end offers, I recommend choosing one revolving offer that you use what I call same track, different bait, meaning you stick with a 10 day offer and it's just 10 days fit for fall, 10 days back to school, 10 days Christmas. 10 days, new year, new you, whatever. You're just repackaging it in the same way, but that way your team can get super good at selling it, fulfilling it, and creating a great member experience. So if you're saying to yourself, hey, Laura, this is awesome, but you would like some help in crafting your perfect front end revolving offer, let me know in the comments down below, and I would be happy to get on a call with you. One of the things that I think really separates myself from some of the other coaches or mentors out there is I don't believe there's one front end offer that works the best for everybody. It really depends on your unique market, your niche, your clientele, the offerings that you have, the way that your studio is designed or your gym is designed and what you offer. So um, I don't recommend using the same front end offer for everyone. I recommend choosing one that's gonna be best for you. So if you'd like me to sit down, learn more about your business and your niche, then I would be happy to craft a front end offer for you. Just let me know in the comments and we can schedule a quick 15 minute call together. All right, guys, if you love these speed trainings that I do each and every single week, do me a favor, hit that like or love button. And I look forward to seeing you back in another speed training with more tips to grow and scale your fitness business.